He is a monad. There is no plurality in Allah. So if Allah is one, a monad, and he describes himself as a shin, then Allah is a shin. You believe in Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and that's three. Well then, by their logic, Allah is described as having multiple parts, so he is not one. Which means that the so-called Islamic Taweed, the so-called oneness of Allah, is a fake. So you believe that Allah is one? One what? One leg? One hand? One eye? One face? But that's not what the Quran says, is it? Does the Quran say that Allah has a shin? So he has a shin, he has hands, right? Brilliant, so he has shin and he has hands. So when you say that Allah is one, it is a fair question for us as Christians to ask, one what? Is he one shin, one hand, or one face? Right. So the That's the argument I got about the Trinity. That's the argument I got. So the, the brother is the brother says, do you accept that there are elements of God that we don't understand? So let me address that point. If your definition of God is self-contradictory, as the Islamic definition of God is self-contradictory, that definition of God is not true. Muslims on one hand want to say that Allah is a monad. He is one. Just one. There is no three. There is no plurality. There is no trinity. But then in the next breath, they assert that Allah has hands, Allah has shins, and Allah has a face. This is a contradiction. We Christians have no such contradiction because we accept that God is one in essence but as a plurality of the persons. So our faith is not self-contradictory. The Islamic definition of Allah is self-contradictory. So I'll ask you again. You say that Allah is one. One what? One what though? So is he a shin, a hand, a leg? There are elements of God that we as humans... Elements, that's a plurality. Elements are a plurality. Are you, is your body composite or not? Composite means a collection of different things together. Right, so when Allah describes himself as having hands and shins and faces, is that composite or is it a monad? So you know, you know what, what's happening, bro? Is you're clutching at straws. So show me. Your guy just told me the exact same argument about the Trinity. See the double standards. Take note. Let's 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 deal with what the brother said. James is a student. He's learning apologetics. Would you agree? Yes. Thank you. So he's learning apologetics. So let me ask you this question, okay? Because. We as Christians believe that God is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. That's a plurality. Okay. See how you put the Father at the top there, yeah? Yeah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Then, Christians believe that. Christians, the Father, the Father takes Christians believe that. The Father takes priority. Christians believe that the Son comes from the Father. Yes. That the Holy Spirit comes from the Father. And the Father takes priority of interpretations. So, my question to you, because you're not changing the subject. I know you want to. No, no, bro, no. Bro, one second. Your Quran describes Allah, says this. Let's just have a look. Do, 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 do. So, so, bro, we're having a conversation with him. We're having a conversation with him. So, so, in the Quran, in the Quran, it compares Allah to light, and it says in Surah 68, 42, let's go and read what it says in Surah 68, 42. Make sure you read it in Arabic. You don't need to read it in Arabic. It's been wonderfully, been reliably translated by Muslim scholars into English. 68, 42, what does it say? What time is it, bro? It is just gone five o'clock. Okay. 
Sorry, my hands are cold and these pages are stuck together. Okay, it says this. 68-42. Remember the day when the shin shall be laid bare on the day of resurrection and they shall be called to prostrate themselves to Allah. So Allah is a shin according to the Quran. Because remember, Allah is one. He is a monad. There is no plurality in Allah. So if Allah is one, a monad, and he describes himself as a shin, then Allah is a shin. Correct? I'm sorry, he interrupts again. Where does it say that Allah cannot present himself in any way that he sees fit? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Oh. Right. But here's the point. If Allah is describing himself in a self-contradictory way, as he is, here's the contradiction. Here's the contradiction. Because Allah is describing himself in a self-contradictory way. Muslim theology teaches that Allah is a monad, is a, a one singular one, uno, no composite, no plurality, no division, no sharing of his attributes. That is what Islamic Tawheed means. You agree? Right. But then, but then, if the Quran, if the Quran, if the Quran describes him as a shin in one verse, and a hand in another verse, and a face in another verse, and having 99 attributes elsewhere, then that means there is plurality within the definition of Allah. So it's not a monad. It's a unity. Go on, Yaya. Stay on topic though, otherwise I'll just start to ignore you. We're talking about the definite the Quran. Hello everybody. The surah it says Yawma Yukshafu an Sek wa Yudauna ila Sujuda Falaya Satyaun. This is the surah that it says when it will be revealed a sack with a shin and they will ask to prostrate and they are not going to be able to. This is a metaphorical expression about when God will reveal anything for, as a sign to the people that he is present for them to prostrate uh, as long as they didn't prostrate and their life on earth, they are not going to be able to prostrate as the day of a judgment. Is that enough? Okay, so let me reply. Please let do. me reply. Please do. Firstly, shall we just move this way? Because I think a fight is going to break out behind us. So let, let's, so, so we're in the middle, we're in the middle. Yeah, guys, we're going to go over that side. We're going to go over that side. Come and follow us, we're going to go over that side. Come on, Yaya, you got your debate. Brother, you need to get in early if you want to debate me. You can have my, my phone number from GC. No. You have to understand, yep. I don't have a particular standpoint from which to oppose you. Brother, I, I'll debate, debate you another day. Let me, let me just debate these two Muslims. Let me just debate. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, well, well, right, so... We would like to have a conversation and your interjections are not helpful. Uh, Please either be quiet or wait your turn, uh, right? Brother, uh, maybe so, allow me, maybe I can talk so, to him. So, so, so... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, 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 don't run away. Don't run away. So the point is, Yahya says... What did he say? He said that it's a metaphor for the fact that Allah will reveal something on the day of judgment, on the day of prostration. Yahya, uh, don't start interrupting, otherwise this is just going to descend. Please control yourself. You do this all the time, just like Abbas, can never control himself. So, however, firstly, let's be clear. Not all Muslims agree with Yahya that these are metaphors. The Salafists in the park, like Shamsi and Hashim and Mansour and Muhammad Hijab and all of those characters believe that these things are actually true. That Allah actually has a shin. So that's my first point. Muslims don't even know what they believe about Allah, they disagree amongst themselves. But let's deal with Yahya's argument, because he does correspond to our brothers over here. That it's a metaphor. Now, it's a metaphor of what? It was a metaphor describing God himself, not describing that he was going to uh, allow people to prostrate or not prostrate, but to describing Allah. 
And he gives multiple descriptions in the Quran. Allah has a shin in the Quran. Allah has hands in the Quran, which if you believe the hadiths, by the way, are two right hands. Go figure. Allah has a face. Now, if these are all metaphorical descriptions of Allah, then that means they have to be describing something about him. And they are different metaphors, which means that they are describing different things about him, which means that the so-called Islamic Taweed, the so-called oneness of Allah is a fake. It is not a monad, it is a unity, which incidentally is the real meaning of Taweed. Taweed means unification, Perfect. not one. Perfect. Go on, Yaya. First, in the Quran, yeah. when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about his hand, actually, no one, not even the Prophet, have seen God. No one have seen God. And just when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking of hand, or chain or anything just to make it easy for the people to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is as enjoyed individual is one and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to Tawheed he have Tawheed al-Sifat the attribute Tawheed al-Asma uh, Tawheed uh, the oneness and name the oneness and attribute the oneness and description and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the, as the Prophet teach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his, uh, his uh, barrier is the nur, uh, the light. So and no one have seen God or able to see God. And this is confirmed as well in the Bible and Timothy one, uh, chapter 1, 16, 15, where it says that God is uh, live in approachable, in approachable light that no one can see or can see because the reward of the, all the believer on the judgment day, especially the obedient one, that Allah will raise, will raise uh, the barrier and everyone will see him. When we say that God created all this earth with his own hand, it doesn't mean that his hand is right or left because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, describing himself as he's all powerful and he create everything with his own hand like Adam and he create all the heaven and all on the all the earth so we cannot just rely on hadith who came 185 years by Bukhari and other to contradict the Quran teaching up to you okay so Yahya said now it's I always find it funny talking to Yahya because he's a Muslim but his name actually refers to the Judeo-Christian God by calling him Yahweh. We can, we can ignore the little uh, gangster wannabes around us. So in terms of, in terms of the, the actual theology of it, let us, let us look at what Islam teaches. Yahya said that Muhammad did not see Allah. I agree. In the Hadiths, Muhammad said to his own wife, how could I see Allah when Allah is cloaked in light? that he is robed in light. That means that something that is created can conceal Allah. Because if that light was not created, then by seeing the light, Muhammad did see Allah. But if that light is not Allah, then that means that there is something created that can veil Allah. And that is a contradiction, that the created can veil the creator. But incidentally, we Christians believe that God can enter into flesh and veil himself in flesh. Amen. Funny that, isn't it? <laughs> now, it also proves something else. Muslims argue that, G that Muhammad is a prophet like under Moses. But Moses is a described as a prophet that saw God face to face. Which means that Muhammad was not like Moses. But Jesus Christ is like Moses because he sees God face to face. Logos ton proston theon. Now, furthermore, furthermore, Yahya said, Yahya said that Allah is not something that can be seen. But in the Quran, it says this, listen. Surah 39, Ayah 67. They made not a just estimate of Allah as this due to him, and on the day of resurrection, the whole of the earth 
will be grasped by his hand. Now think about this for a second. We've just heard that Allah was described as a shin. And now we've heard that Allah is described as having hands. So if he is a monad, if he is a true oneness without a unity of parts, then why does the Quran describe him in multiple parts? Why? Because Allah has multiple attributes. Multiplicity is not the same as oneness. Fire. And that is why Taweed means unity, not one. The Muslims have been lying to you the whole time. Perfect. They believe in one God. Yes, they do. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt it for a second. But we Christians also believe in one God. But they say, oh, no, you don't. You believe in Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and that's three. Well then, by their logic, Allah is described as having multiple parts, so he is not one. He's multiple. You can't have it both ways. I'm talking to Yahya. Let him finish. Go on, Yahya. We all know that Judaism agree with Islam about the oneness of God. Our God have the attribute as he's good, he's, he's patient, he's straight, just, he's everything. And a good way, he's source of all good. And when I said that no one is able to see God, when Moses asked God to allow him to see him, God told him, if this mountain, I reveal part of me to this mountain, if he could stand my, my seeing, you will be able to see. Then God, okay, just two minutes. Okay, you, just two minutes. Finish your point, yeah, yeah. And when God, do it quickly. when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed part of him to the mountain, the mountain was turned into a dust. What happened to ISIS? All blown to shit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as, as I said, the light is his screen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't allow, allow anyone to see him. And the Bible have mixed message because the Bible teach that God can be seen. And at the same time, God cannot be seen. And I will put on the comment section all okay. what we are talking Thank about. Thank you. And you so, look the light. So, the Salafist ISIS supporting supports, supports, supports hitting Hatun. Do you support hitting a woman? Do you support hitting a woman? Make me, 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 make me. Go on, Salafist. Go on, Jihadi. We aren't scared of you. We aren't scared of you. Do you agree with punching Hatun? Make me, make me, make me shut my mouth. Make me shut my mouth. He was talking to Hatun. I just give a statement to the police. Yeah. He, the one who hates Hatun. This is the first time. Does he condemn it? I don't know. Does he condemn it? No, I don't know. I, well, move away then. We, we, we Muslims condemn this because we uh, we should talk. I agree, yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree, yeah, yeah. On this, we agree. Yeah. But punching, no, knock, they knocked no, out Hatun. No, not violence, no. They not, he Hatun, supports not violence. Hatun, not you, not anyone. He supports violence. No one allowed to hear, harm it's anybody here. Two meters apart. Yeah, right. Do it. Do it. We, we are going. Do it. You can't, yeah, okay. you can't do that. Okay. okay. It's nice talking to you, yeah, yeah. God bless you. Uh, look, take God bless my you. phone and let's talk. Yeah, yeah, let's talk. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it from JC. We'll talk, we'll talk. Let's go. A quick wrap up. A little, a little. You can't do that. Whoever the matter of that's not. I'm glad you agree, you're better. We, we all agree attacking women is wrong. Yes. But that ISIS support over there, that little gremlin, that little gremlin, that little gremlin here, he thinks it's okay to punch women. And why does he think it's okay to punch women? He punched. He thinks it's okay to punch women because Muhammad is prophet said it was okay to punch women. Muhammad is prophet assassinated, assassinated those who criticized him. 
and all of you act as if you're afraid of these thugs. Stop being afraid of these thugs. Stand up to them. Stand up to them. Another day, another day. We're closing the pot. Another day, another day. I'll talk with you next week. Next week. Yes, yes, leave the Christians. Like Syria and Iraq. Where people that you support butchered and murdered Christians, raped Christian women. First vote! First vote! First vote! Your caliphates are dead and the church is still here! Your caliphates are dead! And the church is still here. Your curly fates are dead. And the church is still here. Your curly fates are dead. And the church is still here. Let's go, let's go. Yes, let's. Let's go. All right, Bob. Christos and Estesi. Bob, before you lose it. Alright, cool. Right. Christians, you're a bunch of thugs. God bless you, bro.